Lightning 100 with uh, Smashing Pumpkins, 1979. I'm David Hall. I have a special guest in studio. One of my favorite guests from the past is back in town and uh, in the studio with us again today, Warren Haynes of Government Mule. Welcome back, Warren. Thanks. Glad to be back. Uh, Government Mule is playing at the Ryman tonight and uh, first time in a while. New CD is out called Buy a Thread. You've been hearing us play Frozen Fear from that CD. So we're going to talk to Warren and catch up and see what's been going on since he was here last. But he brought a guitar and I'm anxious to have you play something. Sure. Happy to. Uh, uh, this, this is a song from the new CD. Uh, it's called Gordon James. Hey, Gordon James. Why'd your mama give me two last names? Did she have expectations for you? Did you let her down like we knew you wouldn't do? Gordon James, I know we're on subject to change, but you were way too young to lose your soul. They say you traded it away Did you think you could just buy it back someday? Gordon James Were you too busy ducking the blame To realize that it's you we now fear Maybe someday soon It'll all be so clear Were you lonely? Yeah, we were all lonely Were you scared? Yeah, well, I'm scared too Did your dreams turn black? Or did you sleep like a child? Did your heroes die off? Leave you alone in the wild? Or is this just the path that you choose? Good, Warren. Thank you. Gordon James, track number five on the new Government Mule CD, Buy a Thread. They are performing tonight at the Ryman Auditorium. Buy a Thread is the first studio album in three years, and I understand, Warren, that you went down to Willie Nelson's studio in Texas to record this. Yeah, we did. We had a blast down there. Uh, it's like 45 minutes outside of town, and you just kind of feel like you're sequestered out there playing music eating and sleeping and not much else. It's pretty cool. <laughs> now, these songs on this record you uh, conceived and wrote and recorded in the studio, I understand, not out on the road. Yeah, we didn't uh, We didn't want to give them away, so with the Internet being what it is now, every time you play a new song, your whole fan base kind of has it five minutes later. So we, we kind of wanted to save everything, and we didn't start playing any of the new material live till about a few days before the record came out. 
Uh, is there any difficulty for you in balancing Government Mule's past and maybe the fan expectations with, uh, you know, what you're uh, doing in the, in the present and uh, moving forward? Well, I think most people understand that uh, uh, bands and artists don't like to stay where they are. they got to grow and, and, and move. Uh, and uh, most of our fans, I think, understand that. Some people may want us to, uh, you know, make our first record over and over and over again. But I think the new record kind of uh, revisits a lot of the early roots of Government Mule. I keep telling people that we're moving forward and backwards at the same time because uh, with the addition of our new bass player, Jorgen Carlson, I think the spirit of the initial trio is kind of back. And uh, so the new record has a lot of songs that remind me of the first couple of records. Talking with Warren Haynes of Government Mule in town to play the Ryman tonight, and they're touring behind.